Hi, thank you for joining me today at Bedtime Books and Toddler Toys. In today's story time, we're going to be reading an Us Borden Peek Inside a Fairy Tale, Little Red Riding Hood. Let's begin. Grandma's sick in bed, said Little Red Riding Hood's mother. Will you take this basket of food to her? Make sure you stay on the path. There's a big bad wolf in the forest. I can't see any wolves, thought Little Red Riding Hood as she set off. Little Red Riding Hood skipped along and saw some pretty flowers. Grandma would like those, she thought, and so she wandered off the path to pick them. Hello, little girl, growled a voice. It was the big, bad wolf. What are you doing, he asked. Picking flowers for Grandma, said Little Red Riding Hood. The wolf grinned. How nice, he said. Why not pick those flowers too? Then he slunk away. Once she had picked a pretty posy, Little Red Riding Hood followed the path to Grandma's house. Little did she know, but the wolf had gotten there before her. When Little Red Riding Hood arrived, she knocked and went inside. Hello, Grandma, it's me, Little Red Riding Hood called as she put the basket on the table. I'm in bed, come through, dear, said a rather gruff voice. Little Red Riding Hood went into the bedroom. What big ears you have, Grandma, said Little Red Riding Hood in surprise. All the better to hear you with, came the reply. What big eyes you have, said Little Red Riding Hood. All the better to see you with, came the reply. What big teeth you have, said Little Red Riding Hood. All the better to eat you with, came the reply. In a flash, the wolf leaped out of bed and swallowed Little Red Riding Hood whole. Then he waddled out of the house with a full belly. You can peek inside his belly to make sure Little Red Riding Hood is all right. Let me out and me. Hello, Grandma. Did the wolf swallow you too? Yes, he did. A woodcutter was passing by and heard the cries for help. The woodcutter ran over and cut open the wolf's belly. Out sprang Grandma and Little Red Riding Hood. Grandma sewed up the wolf's belly with stones inside. That will teach you not to eat people, she said. They sent the wolf on his way, and they never, ever saw him again. Goodbye. The end. Thank you for reading with me today. What is your favorite part of the Little Red Riding Hood story? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks again for joining me. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.